गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी नाउ स्टार्ट विथ इंग्लिश फॉर स्टैंडर्ड फोर्थ एन सी आर टी सिलेबस वी स्टार्ट विथ यूनिट टू द लिटिल फर्ड ट्री पार्ट टू इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट टू जस्ट टू क्विकली रिवाइज इट वॉज अ स्टोरी अबाउट अ लिटिल फर ट्री हु वॉज ग्रांटेड फोर विशेज बाय अ म्यूजिशियन कॉल शेट्टी because he had taken shelter under this tree when it was raining heavily and this fir tree had needle like leaves so his wish was that he should have normal leaves how other trees had his second wish was that he should have gold leaves his third wish was that he should have glass leaves and finally his fourth wish was that he should have his same needle like leaves so now we continue with this part 2 and there are few exercises which we have to do you, in this exercise you need to tick the correct answers three options are given to you for each question your first question is the pretty little fir tree was happy with gold leaves but your three options are a goat came along and ate them all the leaves got wet in rain a man stole them so he was happy with his gold leaves but what happened a man stole them a second one the fir tree was sad because it had yellow leaves because it had needle like leaves because it was very short so why was the fir tree sad because it had needle like leaves the third one the fir tree was not happy with gold leaves because the goats came and ate them up a man stole them the gold leaves broke so again he was not happy with the gold leaves why because a man stole them so here the answers are ticked the first one was the pretty little fir tree was unhappy with gold leaves but the third option is right a man stole them your second question was the fir tree was sad because it had needle like leaves your second option is right the third one the fir tree was not happy with the gold leaves why because a man stole them again your second option is right now let's do some word building by changing the circled words to its opposite rewrite these sentences one has been done for you so the circled words in the sentences have to be changed to their opposites so the first one i carry a light bag to school every day so in this sentence light is circled so we have to write the opposite of light and write the whole sentence again so how do we write it i carry a heavy bag to school every day so in the same manner we have to do the rest four sentences what are those sentences let us read reena won the race so we need to write the opposite of one the third one i love eating vegetables so we need to write the opposite of love this glass of milk is full so here we need to write the opposite of full the old man is wise so here we have to write the opposite of wise so in the second sentence we had to write the opposite of one so what is the opposite of one lost right so we write the whole sentence again reena lost the race the third one the opposite of love so the opposite of love is hate so let's write the sentence i hate eating vegetables fourth one this glass of milk is full so what will be the opposite of full right empty so let's write the sentence this glass of milk is empty 
fifth one the old man is wise so the opposite of wise will be foolish so the sentence goes the old man is foolish now your third exercise now give the opposite of the words below by adding u n or i m now there are certain words given to us now we need to add u n in front of that word to make it its opposite or we need to add an i m to that word to make its opposite so now let's do happy how do we make the opposite of happy we have to add u n in front of happy so it goes like u n h a p p y it becomes unhappy it becomes the opposite of happy second polite polite opposite will be impolite we need to add i m in front of polite seen unseen add u n in front of seen proper improper lucky unlucky possible impossible important unimportant perfect imperfect healthy unhealthy safe unsafe patient impatient pure impure so by adding just an un or i am in front of these words we make the opposite of all these words let's read this paragraph rita loved her dog sheru every day sheru would go out of the house and come back himself but one day he did not come home rita looked everywhere for him tears rolled down her cheeks sheru was lost he was nowhere to be found rita was crying when she reached home she got into her bed all of a sudden something jumped on her can you guess who it was rita was very happy so now again in these exercise the words which are written in blue we need to write their opposites so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and nine words are written in blue we need to write these words opposites in the given lines below so now let's write their opposites so the opposite of loved will be hated go out will be come in come will be go everywhere will be nowhere crying will be laughing down will be up lost will be found nowhere will be everywhere and happy will be sad so now in this exercise we need to rewrite the paragraph using capital letters wherever necessary so children where do we use capital letters we use capital letters in the beginning of the sentence and if any proper noun if any na- a noun which is giving a name which is proper we write those names with a capital letter so i am reading this paragraph and then we will do the needful one saturday afternoon amarjeet and his little sister rani went for a picnic to india gate there they saw ducks water and their friend raj the second paragraph is oh dear said the fir tree 
I like my old needle-like leaves best. For goats don't eat them and no man can steal them. Now let us write both these paragraphs with capital letters wherever necessary. So now let's do both the paragraphs. Wherever the capital letter is necessary, we will write them. So first we start with one. One is the beginning of a sentence, so we will write with capital O. Saturday is the name of a day of a week. So we again write it with a capital S. Afternoon, Amarjit. Amarjit again capital A because it is a name of a boy. And his little sister Rani, Rani also will come with capital R, went for a picnic to India Gate. India Gate also I will come capital and Gate G will come capital. And then there is a full stop. And remember again after a full stop always the next word will start with a capital letter. So there again we write with a capital letter. It is not a proper noun but it starts after a full stop. So we need to write that word, that alphabet in capital. So there they saw ducks, comma, water and their friend Raj. Again Raj will come with capital R. Now again the second one. Again we start O with capital O. O oh dear, said the fir tree. I, remember children, I, wherever it comes in the sentence, we always write I with capital. We never write I in small letter. I is always written in a capital letter. Like my old needle-like leaves best, for goats don't eat them and no man can steal them and we put a full stop. So here there are no proper names so we don't need to write anything in capital. Only the first letter and I will be in capital letters. Look at the picture below. In the yellow box there are 8 things. You can see 6 of them in the picture. You cannot see the other 2. Write down the 4 things that you can see. So now in this picture you can clearly see different things and 8 things are mentioned in that block. Now in this block which 4 things we can see in this picture we will write any 4 of them in the space provided below. So let us read which words are given in the block. Ducks, mat, dog, girl, boy, tree, fountain flowers. So from this six things we can see in this picture. So out of this six any four we can write. So here I have written boy, girl, ducks and tree. And which are the other two? Uh, mat and flowers. So you can write mat and flowers also if you want. Which of the following actions would make others happy or unhappy. So here are certain actions given to us which please someone and which does not please someone. Means it makes some people happy and does not make some people happy. So which actions are these? Let us read. Respecting elders, not saying thank you, being polite, playing with friends, visiting a sick friend, not sharing, watching television all day, telling lies, being greedy, caring for pets, getting angry easily, being honest. So here there are few actions and we need to write them in the columns given below. So now let us do this exercise. So now here are two columns given to us. In one column it is given that actions that make people happy. And in the other column it is actions that make people unhappy. So as we just read all the different actions. Now accordingly we will fill them into this block. 
So first one would be respecting elders. When we respect elders, people feel happy. When we uh, are polite, people feel happy. So being polite would be your second action. Third one would be playing with friends. When you play with others, other friends also feel happy. Visiting a sick friend. When your friend is sick and we go to ask him that how is he feeling now. So he feels better. He feels happy that my friends have come to meet me. Caring for pets. All uh, certain animals, pet animals, they need care. So when we care for them, even those animals feel happy. And being honest. Always speak the truth and be honest. Such an action is loved by all. So now let's write the actions that make people unhappy. The first one, not saying thank you. When someone does good to you or helps you, we should always say thank you to that person. And if you don't say, it makes that person unhappy. Then the second one, not sharing, watching television all day. You don't share with others, so that action makes others unhappy. Telling lies. As we just discussed, so always be honest and speak the truth. It is liked by all and people are happy. So if you speak lies, it is surely that people won't like you and they will be unhappy. Being greedy. Greedy means something that you want more and more and you never share with others. So that action also makes people unhappy. And lastly, getting angry easily. We should never get angry easily. We should always try to control our anger. Because this anger is a very cruel action in us. It makes us do many bad uh, activities. So always don't be angry and try to control your anger. So students, so I request you to write all the exercises that we have discussed in this part 2 into your English notebooks. So kindly keep in mind that you need to write very neatly in your English notebook. Thank you and have a nice day.